Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. War and conquest are here. Now, War's design has changed a few times, but this drawing is my final concept. He is going to wear a red and black suit, and then over top he will wear his armor, mixing modern with medieval. For War, I will be using this BTS doll body and this Monster High boy head, and I will be shrinking the head so it's not too big with the helmet on. Don't want War to look like a bobblehead. His hair will be this blood red nylon from Shimmerlocks on Etsy. And surprise, there's a second doll today. This hidden 3.5 Horseman of the Apocalypse, Conquest. I will explain more why later. Gulia will be Conquest with her hair being this silver curly hair from Shimmerlocks. So let's get started. To start, I only reroute the front half of the head and will glue wefts to the rest. I then dunk the head in 100% acetone and wait 2 hours for it to grow and absorb the acetone. I make sure the head is completely submerged. After 2 hours, I take it out of the jar and let it rest for 24. After 20-ish hours, I put the head back on the body because once it's fully shrunk and hardened, it will be hard to attach the head to the body. I also make sure to fully wash the hair and head a few times to get rid of the remaining acetone once it is fully dry and shrunken. Again with the suits, that's three already! I know, but I knew War was always going to wear a suit, and I did my best to make it the best one and most detailed one yet. The fabrics I will be using are this red and black satin or silk and I don't know. I cut out all the pieces and of course fray check every last one of them. Like big people suits, I iron the pants so they have a like front crease. After that I sew the pants together. First I sew the backs to the fronts at the side and then the fronts together at the front dip. I then add pockets, not correctly but I add them anyway and they turned out great. I hem the waist. I then add a zipper stitch for some more detail as well as belt loops. I then hem the bottom of the pants, sew the inseam and add a closure. Time for the blazer. I start with the shoulders, sew the backs together. Attach the collar and the lining, then the sleeves, hem the sleeves, close the sleeves and the side seams, and finally hem the bottom. For the waistcoat, I just glue down all the edges and add a closure to the bottom tab and sew the top tabs together. For the dress shirt, again, start at the shoulders, the sleeves, Collar, cuffs, close the sleeves and the side seams, and finally hem the bottom. And with that, minus the tie which comes later, the suit is complete. So I didn't like how the first head turned out, so I'm trying again with Heath. First I remove his hair, and then drown him in acetone. After his nice bath, I wash, then match his skin tone to the body with a lot of layers of eyeshadow. Then I paint his scalp red and spray him with MSC and begin to give him a face. I start with blushing, and through his face up I am very careful and make sure I don't make any mistakes, cause it would be hard to fix and I really don't want to start over again, especially with all those layers of skin matching. For his face up I am going for a more realistic look but still kinda hot anime guy vibes. I give him big bushy eyebrows, I darken the lines of his eyes, and add more details and more blush and everything in between. His irises will be red with some gold shine. And with that, his face up is done. For his hair, I just make wefts and just glue them on. Very easy. And he's looking so good exactly how I imagined him to look. 
Now, if you want a tutorial on how to make good doll armor, Delightful does it way better than I do. This was my first time making it, so I didn't do a good job when recording it. I'm so sorry. And my first try making it, I didn't like it, so I started over and made a whole new set of armor anyway. So I basically drew the shapes I wanted the different armor pieces to be and then cut them out. And then I added felt to the underside so it wouldn't ruin the suit. I then poked holes and added eyelets so the armor is removable. I then used 3D fabric paint to add raised details and then I gave them a paint job. Like I said earlier, I redid everything. Even with the new set, it is rough and sloppy in some places, but it turned out better than the first one, so I'm happy. Also, I didn't add battle damage because he is war itself. And with that, war is done. Time to move on to Conquest. Her hair will be this silver curly hair. And I reboot the whole head and give her the same acetone bath spa treatment as her brother War. She will be getting a lady suit, so basically the same steps as War's outfit, but a little bit different. So instead, I will take this time to tell you why I added Conquest to my Horseman. So, Pestilence in the lineup of the Horseman is sometimes changed out for Conquest, but I don't know why since War and Conquest are very similar, and I prefer Pestilence anyway. But I also felt like I should include Conquest, so I decided to add Conquest with War and make it like a 3.5 Horseman. I mean, this is just my logic. It is still the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, but War and Conquest are like twins and kind of share the title of the Third Horseman. And I also know my order is wrong, but it kind of makes more sense to have War after Famine because Pestilence makes everyone sick along with the animals, and then Famine attacks the food resources, and then the sources become limited which makes everyone fight over the resources, which leads to war. And then everyone just dies and then finally death. Anyway, sorry for the rant, moving on. Oh, would you look at that, the outfit is done, it's just like magic. Conquest will also have a realistic face, but kinda like hot anime girl vibes. You would think she would be more cool tones and not brown and gold to match her skin and hair, but no, Conquest will be gold and rose gold and warm tones, cause I'm weird. So I blush her eyes and cheeks and mouth and then draw in the details and lose some footage and her face is magically done! Her armor is made the same way as War's. I just cut out the pieces of craft foam and then add glue felt to the back. I add eyelets. and then 3D fabric paint, and then I spray them with gold paint.
Oh, and here is what the armor looks like together. And here are their swords, which I got from Amazon. They're like keychain swords. I don't know. The dolls are done. And here are the final dolls, War and Conquest. Resources and food are limited. The water has dried up. People are beginning to get desperate and angry. Rage is filling their souls. War and conquest are coming, or maybe they are already here. The twins of destruction and blood. Brother fighting brother, families breaking apart. Brother war and sister conquest have come to join their sisters, pestilence and famine. Their eldest brother will come soon to join his family of the apocalypse. They look so badass and so cool. I love both the outfits and the armor. I am so happy with how they both turned out. Definitely my favorite of the group so far. Anyway, happy Halloween everyone. I hope you enjoyed my treat this year. Thank you all for joining me today. Follow me on Instagram to see more, to be more part of my process. Check out my community page for polls on doll ideas and sneak peeks of upcoming videos. And subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.